12 or 16 mils, which is better? No jokes. The one leaf, should you get 12, should you get 16? Keep watching this video and I'll tell you which one I think you should get. Hi there guys, it's Steve from Ergonology. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, the bell notification, you know the score. As always, all the links in the YouTube video description where you can get everything I'm talking about, links to our Facebook group, our forum, our web store, all of that wonderful stuff. And of course, on here we do air rifles, pistols, and technology reviews. But I get asked a lot of questions about this all the time. Is that I recently, um, about eight months or so ago, I did the one leaf review of the clip on. You know, basically, it's the same as the Pard 7, it's a different manufacturer, one leaf, and a lot, lot cheaper. And I know a lot of you guys have been getting these, and the reason I know is because I can see the affiliate links where you've been clicking them and I get a bit of kickback. Uh, but yeah, you, a lot of you guys have got these. Well, they've now brought out or they have actually about two to three months ago, probably longer than that, is the 12 mil version. So there's actually two sizes you can get. You can get the 16 mil version size and the 12 mil version size. And as air gunners, which one should you get? Well, quite simply, um, the 12 mil has a wider field of view. The 16 mil has a much more deeper field of view. In other words, you lose field of view. And it's all down to this little lens in the front here. Now, the lens on the 12 mil only does a base magnification of one times. In other words, when you attach this to your scope, it doesn't re-magnify. So if your scope is set to three times, when you put this on, it's still three times. With the 16 mil version, it actually has a base magnification of four times. So if you attach this onto your scope, the same scope, with a three times magnification on your scope and attached a 16 mil on, it will be three times four, which will be 12 times instead of three. So you can see it's going a lot deeper and you lose field of view for the 16 mil. So quite simply, the 12 mil version is the one I would recommend for air rifles. You're only shooting out to 30, 40, maybe 50 yards or so. You don't need that deep in zoom. Um, and it's good to be able to have that field of view. Um, now, if you're rim fire, center fire, then you may want to be shooting out to much larger distances to 300 meters perhaps. And then yes, it is nice to have that additional zoom on there. Uh, but yeah, I would certainly recommend the 12 mil version. What I'm gonna do is just uh, show you a very, very short clips here of me just handheld this uh, with a thick static target and you hopefully will see the difference between the two uh, with the 12 mil version and the 16 mil version. So I'm using handheld here with the NV100, the 12 mil version and I'm looking about six foot in front of me at my 3D printer with the spool on top just so you can get a fixed size relation to the field of view there so we can see that there and now this is with the 12 mil version in other words it's got one times base magnification okay so now i'm with the 16 mil version um and we're at one time zoom on here and you can definitely see that is a lot lot bigger uh, much more zoomed in that's because this has actually got a higher base magnification going on it Okay, hopefully you can there see the differences, okay? So it's not exactly, 
you know, bang on signs, but you can definitely see there the differences in the field of view. So the 12 mil, like I said, is the one that I'd recommend. But um, let's have a quick chat about the one leaf, um, just for those that haven't seen it. And I will leave a video, and I always get this the wrong side. It's one of those two sides up there. I'll leave a card up there uh, where you can go and look at my original review. And I'll also leave at the end um, relating it to the pod as well. But really quick overview with these. It's one of these uh, clip-on attachments. So here's my Red Wolf here. And I've actually got the attachment on the end of it here. And literally, you can just clip it on to your rifle, like so, and it turns basically your normal scope into a digital scope. And you can just unclick it when it's not in use. Uh, just pull the button, unclicks it, and away it goes. So what this is, is effectively a digital camera. And then you see through here exactly what you'd see in your scope it's just like holding your mobile phone up to the end of your scope the same sort of thing but the nice thing about these is, is it's all computer driven inside here you've got an sd card to do pictures recordings um, stuff like that and of course it has ir built into it as well so you can switch it from daytime into ir and i'll probably leave in a little bit of footage around so that you can see that for, as well really really nice all controlled by the menu buttons up there on the side here, basically, you have um, where your SD card goes into it as well. And on the one leaf, you also do get a mini HDMI cable as well. Um, you can then zoom up and down as well, so you can add extra digital zoom. Of course, you can still zoom your scope in as well. Um, like I said, with the 12 mil, it's much easier because it's a wider field of view. You're not suddenly getting really tight in there. Um, really, really nicely set up. Here's the IR torch where you can focus it by pulling out in and out. It has three or four different levels. Works out to about 300 yards as well, the IR torch built in here. So really, really good. Um, it's fairly longish eye relief as well. So you can get up to about 70 mils eye relief. And it's all powered by a simple, if we just open up in here, 18650 battery in the side there and literally you can just throw that in and I do believe you get the batteries with them now the one thing I do like about the one leaves is the price um, $299 now check you may have to get a few input that they've got some notes on the website I think it's about 10% maybe but some um, generally most people just get them um, and, uh, with no uh, problems at all and they do sell the different adapters as well so there's different size adapters and they're, they're about um, 20 pound 20 dollars I think they are um, so you can get the different type of adapters that you want uh, for your scope um, so it depends on what size it is so measure the diameter of your scope and then just buy the right adapters with it now when you actually get one of these for $299 you actually get to pick which size adapter so if you want additional ones you can add on the extra $20 really really nice um, all comes into a nice little carry case as well so uh, you got a little carry case that's in there as well as a nice presented box um, now the way that you fit this on is that you wrap tape around your scope and then you put the adapter on you clamp it down and that permanently stays on your scope if you want so you can in night daytime use it as a normal scope or you can clip this in daytime or nighttime use it really really cool little utility little focus wheel under here to get the perfect focus and there's also ocular focus at the back as well and you get a couple of little eye caps for different eye reliefs and how you like to use it so I really, really do recommend these um, boxes, you know, nicely presented. So I do recommend uh, the one leafs. Um, I know a lot of you guys have used them as well. But interestingly, they're coming out with a new product. And hopefully I've got one on its way. They've asked, they've reached out to me. And it looks like what they've done is they've gone into their own scope manufacturer or buying a scope in and brand it themselves but they built it all together with the attachment all in place already so basically no more taping these up etc um, and you can just buy the scope and this all together and literally you just mate them when you need them and mate them perfectly lined up all the time no messing around with tape or anything like that i'll leave a couple of pictures and a couple of videos as well um, and it looks like that they're going to be selling the scope on its own and a scope 
and the one leaf combination. So if you've already got a one leaf, you can get the scope to go with it and just click it in. Really, really nice and uh, look quite reasonably priced and very well spec as well. But I've got one hopefully coming on on its way soon. So we'll do a proper review on the actual scope itself and the uh, the one leaf that goes with it all. But um, yeah, looking pretty smart. Uh, but love to know your thoughts and comments. So what do you think of the one leafs? I know a lot of you have been getting these. Like I said, I see the affiliate links going through and that's just the tip of the iceberg. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, but um, yeah, I still think probably for the clip on market, best bang for buck, definitely. Um, definitely best bang for buck. It does everything the others do. Much, much cheaper price. Um, and yeah, I seriously, seriously recommend them. Anyway, love to know your thoughts and catch you on the next video.